I'll show how to create a toggle in Tableau that lets users switch between light and dark themes with a single click. It's not just a design upgrade, some people just read better in different modes, and this gives them the option to choose. I'll start by building the toggle on a new worksheet. And all we need is one parameter and one calculated field. Super simple. So I'm going to start by creating the parameter. And I'll call this mode parameter. Then change the data type to a string. And I'll do a list so I can enter the text light and dark. So these are basically the options that the users will have to select. Then I'll create a calculated field which will be responsible for changing the mode. So what I'm typing is saying, if the parameter is set to light, then switch it to dark. And if it's set to dark, then switch it back to light. So you can see when I bring this field into the marks and hover over the square, it says dark. And that's the opposite of what our parameter is set to, which is light. But a square is not a very good indication of anything, so I'm going to change the mark type to a shape. Then I'll make the mode switch determine what the shape is. To add some interactivity, I'll go to the dashboard to add our mode toggle worksheet. I'll hide the title of the worksheet and then resize it to be in the corner. Then I'll set this to fill the entire view. And to add the functionality, I need to go to the dashboard tab at the top and click Actions. And I'm going to add a change parameter action for the mode. For the source sheets, I'll start by unchecking everything that isn't the mode toggle worksheet. Then I'll target the mode parameter using the mode switch as the source field. So when I click on the circle that represents dark, you can see it changes to a square which represents light. Since the parameter controls the toggle, it's always going to be the opposite. And it doesn't really matter which is which, as long as everything is adjusted consistently. So I'll start by editing the shapes for the switch to make them more intuitive. I created these in Canva in about a minute, but you can use any image you want. And at the end of the video, I'll show some options I created and include links to the images in the description. And it's a little bit small, so I'm going to go back to the worksheet so I can increase the size using the slider. And you can see I chose to make the toggle image match the mode switch calculated field. So both are for the light mode, instead of reflecting the parameter value. It doesn't really matter, but I think it's more intuitive since we'll be using the mode switch to control the worksheet colors, while the parameter is just storing the variable behind the scenes. And I don't want this white background, so I'm going to format the worksheet so I can remove the shading of it. And that flipped the switch when I clicked on it, so I'm going to go ahead and edit the shape. And since I want the shape to match the switch value instead of the parameter, I'm going to choose the image I want for the dark mode. And now we just need to go through and pick the different backgrounds and colors we want for the dark mode. I'll start with the background by creating a new worksheet. Currently, my background is an image on the dashboard. But I found a way to create a dynamic background that switches by using a worksheet. So I'll create a calculated field for x and just put the minimum of 1. Then I'll do the same thing for y. This is going to allow us to treat the worksheets like a fixed canvas. I'll move x into the columns and y into the rows. To add the images, I'll go to the Map tab at the top. Then go to Background Images and choose our data source. I'll add an image and choose our dark mode background. Then I'll set X from 0 to 2, and Y from 0 to 2. Under Options, I'll add a condition. So I only want this dark background to show when the mode switch has the dark value. But we don't have mode switch within our view yet, so I'm going to drag it to the marks. And now the image populates. It's a bit distorted, but that's because I need to edit the axis and give it the same range as our background image, which is 0 to 2. And I'll do the same thing with the x-axis, giving it a custom fixed range between 0 and 2. We don't need these headers, so I'm going to remove them. And we don't want this random circle in the middle, so I'm going to go to Color in the Marks to decrease the opacity to 0%. Then I'll show our mode parameters so we can switch it to the other option. But remember, these are flips, so this is actually light mode. I'll repeat that same process by adding a background image. But this time, I'll choose my light background. I'll keep the ranges from 0 to 2. But this time, my condition will be for this image to only show when the mode switch has the value light. Now we can use the parameter to control which background image is visible. To incorporate this into the dashboard, I'll start by removing the current background image. Then I'll add our new background worksheet. I'll hide the title of the worksheet, then use the Layout tab so I can set the positioning to 0, 0, and the width and the height to match the size of the dashboard. 
Then under the item hierarchy, I'll drag this worksheet to the very back to make sure it sits behind everything else. And now we have our light mode dashboard back to what it was before. And we can use the toggle to switch it to the dark background. But we still need to pick the colors for the visuals when the background is dark, because these are not easy to read. I'll start by focusing on the visuals that are only colored based on worksheet properties, and not other fields like the workout type. So I'm going to start with the KPIs. On the worksheet, I'll bring the mode switch formula into the marks card, and use it to control the text color. This is why I chose to align my color scheme with the mode switch instead of the parameter so I don't get confused when assigning colors. And since we're in dark mode, I'll set the value color to white so it stands out against the dark background. And going back to the dashboard, you can see the values for the KPIs standing out against the dark background. But since the switch field is determining the color, I need to toggle it back to the light version so I can edit the text color for the KPIs when we're in light mode. And I'll make it a dark color so it stands out against our light background. Now we basically introduce conditional coloring based on the selected mode, light or dark. I'm not going to show this part because it's repeating the same process, but I've already applied this to all the visuals that aren't colored by another field like workout type. I'll turn this back to dark mode to show how to make the colors respond for the visuals that are colored by another field. And the nice part is we only need to assign colors for one visual, then we can apply it to the rest. So I'm going to assign the colors within the radial chart worksheet. And right now this visual is being colored by the workout type field. I'll add the mode switch field under workout type and make it a color as well. The order doesn't really matter, but we just need to make it consistent across our visuals. Now I'm assigning bright colors to the visual so it stands out against the dark background. And all we need to do to apply this to another worksheet is go to that worksheet and drag the mode switch field under the workout type and make it a color. And you can see as long as these are in the same order and they're both used to color, we get consistent coloring across the worksheets. So I'm going to quickly go through and do this for the rest of the worksheets that use workout type to color the visual. Now all of our visuals are colored for the dark mode. I'll switch this back to light mode and assign the colors on the radial worksheet for all the visuals that use workout type as the color. And these are just the muted colors I used originally that go well with my light background. Now all the visual's colors respond based on whether light or dark mode is selected. But the text for the visual's titles isn't easy to read. I'll show two methods for making these titles dynamically adjust to the mode. And the first method works well if you're dealing with a single standalone title, while the second method is better if you want to update multiple titles at once. The first method utilizes the title of a worksheet. I'll create a calculated field for the title when it's in light mode. This will be if the mode switch equals light, then do workout type, which is the title of my visual. Else, just do two quotes with nothing inside. I'll duplicate this field and then edit it and change light to dark. Then I'll move both of these fields into my view so I can use it in the title of the worksheet. I'll edit the title of my worksheet, remove what's in there, and insert both of these fields. Against the light background, I want a dark color, so I don't need to change that. But against the dark background, I need a light color, so I'm going to make it white. Then I'm going to make it a little more bold since it's a title. On the dashboard, I'll go to the worksheet, hit the drop down arrow, and choose to add the title. I'll remove our old title, and I want to edit this title so that it's centered like it was before. Now we have a dynamic title that adjusts its text color based on the selected mode. Since this method uses calculated fields, it's not always ideal for multiple titles. So my second method is to create a new worksheet, and start by adding any field, which I'll do the mode switch field to the marks. Then make it a label. Using text within the marks, edit the text. Here's where I'll type out all my titles, which is workouts, calories, and duration. I'll change the text to tableau regular and size 15 to match the rest of our titles. Then I'll just start typing a bunch of spaces between each title. And I never know exactly how many spaces to add, so I just play around with it until it looks right on the dashboard. Then I'll add our mode switch field to the marks and make it determine the color, just like it does for our KPIs. On the dashboard, I'll add our titles worksheet. I'll hide the title of the worksheet and position the titles over their visuals. I'll also remove our original titles that weren't dynamic. And you can see the spacing isn't perfect, but it's okay because you can go back to the worksheet, edit the text, and adjust how many spaces are between each title. And wow, that spacing worked out perfectly. 
I'm going to switch this to dark mode so that I can format the worksheet and remove the white background. That way we can actually see the white text. Now we can toggle between light and dark mode and everything automatically adjusts. I'll show some additional customization options to polish the look. I'll start with the radial chart since these shapes stay the same color whether we're in light or dark mode. And I have a couple options here. I can either make the shapes match the coloring by applying the same color settings to the shapes mark. So I'll pull workout type into the shapes mark and make it a color. Then I'll pull the mode switch into the mark and make it a color as well. And now the color of the shapes match the visuals for each mode. The alternative, which I think looks way better, is to have shapes for each version. But you can see when I try to add a second field as a shape, it doesn't work. It just replaces what was previously determining the shape. But if you select both of the fields, then right click, you can create a combined field. Then we can drag this into the marks instead as our shape. And I'll remove the coloring because we don't need that anymore. And now we have two separate sets of values we can assign shapes to. So with the light version on, I'm just assigning all the original shapes. Then I'll switch this to the dark mode. And this time I'll edit the shapes and assign different images. So it's the same pictures as the light version, but with different coloring. I prefer this method because we're not stuck with solid colors. Like the girl's brown hair in the first image stays the same, but her workout outfit changes colors when we switch modes. The next little touch up is to remove these buttons for the background worksheet. Just go to the map tab at the top and choose map options. Then uncheck all of these. Now we have no more annoying buttons when we hover. If you have a visual that doesn't work well in both modes and changes affect both versions, I have a workaround. For example, say I really needed the tree map text to be white in dark mode and black in light mode. My workaround is to duplicate the worksheet and use the second version for the dark mode. To set up the dynamic zone visibility, I'll start by dragging mode switch into the filters. And since this is the dark mode worksheet, I'll set up the filter condition to be when the mode switch equals dark. So this is saying only show this worksheet when we're in dark mode. I'll set up the same dynamic zone visibility for the light worksheet. Except this time my condition will be when the mode switch equals light. And you can see the visual disappears when we're on the light worksheet because currently we're set to dark mode. Now in the worksheet for the dark version, I can change anything, like making the text white or bold even changing the transparency or border colors, and it won't affect our tree map for light mode. On the dashboard, I'll add our dark version of the tree map. I'll hide the title of the worksheet, resize it so it's where our other tree map is, and then set this to the entire view. So we use dynamic zone visibility to switch between two worksheets with different formatting. One is visible in light mode, and the other is visible in dark mode. The last thing I'll do here is based on a question I got about making a toggle switch in another dashboard respond with a single click instead of double clicking. I figured out that if you edit the action for the toggle, you can set clearing the selection to one of the values, so I'll choose light mode for this one. This makes it automatically revert to that value when the selection is cleared. So the toggle will switch instantly between modes with just one click. And then really quick I just wanted to show a couple of their options that I added for the images for the dark and light mode toggle. And I'll have both of these linked in the description as well.